21st annual India-Russia summit hosted by New Delhi has concluded. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Russian President Vladimir Putin met in person for the first time since 2019 BRICS summit. The meeting was a rare one, as it was only a second trip abroad for the Russian president since the pandemic. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi warmly welcomed Vladimir Putin at the Hyderabad House in New Delhi and thanked him for his visit during the pandemic. The leaders of the two countries held an extensive dialogue that ranged from defense and military cooperation to environmental challenges and to trade and economy. In his opening remarks, Prime Minister Modi lauded Vladimir Putin for his deep commitment to India-Russia ties. He added that over the years and despite geopolitical challenges, India-Russia friendship has remained a constant. वैश्विक स्तर पर कई फंडामेंटल बदलाव आए कई तरह के जियोपॉलिटिकल समीकरण उभरे किंतु इन सभी वेरिएबल्स के बीच भारत रूस मित्रता एक कांस्टेंट रही दोनों देशों ने न सिर्फ एक दूसरे के साथ निसंग को सहयोग किया है एक दूसरे की सेंसिटिविटीज का भी विशेष ख्याल रखा है ये सब कुछ इंटरस्टेट दोस्ती का एक यूनिक और the year 2021 marks two decades of strategic ties between India and Russia. The first two plus two dialogue between India and Russia was held earlier today between the defense ministers and foreign ministers of the two countries. Now, Prime Minister Modi said that the two plus two mechanism has been adopted to expand India-Russia partnership. कोविड की चुनौतियों के बावजूद भारत और रूस के संबंधों की रफ्तार में कोई बदलाव नहीं आया है हमारी स्पेशल एंड प्रिविलेज स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनरशिप निरंतर मजबूत होती गई है हमारे विस्तार से मैं दूंगा एक्सीलेंसी 2021 हमारी स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनरशिप के लिए भी विषय है आज हमारे विदेश एवं रक्षा मंत्रियों के बीच 2+2 डायलॉग की पहली बैठक हुई इससे हमारे व्यवहारिक सहयोग को बढ़ाने का एक नया मैकेनिज्म शुरू हुआ है Thanking Prime Minister Modi for a warm welcome, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that he was happy to travel to a friendly country, India. Putin added that he perceives India as a great power and a friendly nation. He also said that the two countries share military cooperation like no other. Dear friend, I'm so very happy to be able to travel to visit the friendly country of India. We hold talks every year, taking turns in India and in Russia. Unfortunately, we had to skip last year because of the pandemic. Still, it's our turn to travel to India, so I would like to thank you for the invitation. We perceive India as a great power, friendly nation and time-tested friend. As we have our colleagues with us today, I mean Foreign Ministry and Defence Ministry after their inaugural meeting, that means we continue to develop our relation on international agenda and military sphere. We hold joint military exercises both in the Indian and Russian territories. I would like to thank you for your attention for this component about the corporation. Russia and India have been long-standing and privileged strategic partners. The two leaders in the summit are likely to discuss matters related to regional security, with a special focus on the situation in Afghanistan. The meet also focused on countering terrorism and terror financing. Afghanistan and other countries have been in the same way. We have been in the Eastern Economic Forum and the Vatri Vastok Summit has started with regional partnership. We continue to cooperate directly on global agenda. And as you have said, indeed our positions coincide. We are concerned about everything that has to do with terrorism. I mean the fight against terrorism. Also we are fighting drug trafficking and organized crime. And with that regard, we are concerned about the development situation in Afghanistan. In a briefing after the Modi-Putin meet, Foreign Secretary of India, Harshvardhan Shringla, said that the meeting between the two leaders was short but highly productive. According to the Ministry of External Affairs, the two sides held in-depth dialogue that will further strengthen ties 
between India and Russia. Indian government said that India and Russia are cooperating significantly on Indo-Pacific strategy. India and Russia are also working to enhance maritime corridors. The two countries also signed intergovernmental agreement on military cooperation for 10 years. The um, visit concluded in a joint statement uh, titled India-Russia Partnership for Peace, Progress and Prosperity. Uh, the joint statement captures uh, the state and future potential of our relationship. Uh, in all, a uh, record number of 28 agreements or MOUs were concluded during this visit. Uh, these agreements were both government to government as well as business to business, uh, including involving our public sector units uh, in both countries. Uh, the agreements uh, cover a very wide range of sectors. Uh, India and Russia have also signed a program of cooperation in the field of defense for the next 10 years, 2021 to 2031. Uh, the diversity of agreements and MOUs signed today uh, shows the multifaceted nature of our bilateral partnership. Russia and India have also called for a comprehensive reform of the UN Security Council to reflect the changing global realities. Prime Minister Modi and President Putin stressed on building and accelerating trade between the two countries. The two leaders advocated the need to increase bilateral trade to $30 billion by the year 2025. India and Russia also reaffirmed commitment to boost Russian crude oil production. Um, the enhancing bilateral trade uh, and investments figured prominently in the talks. Uh, this year, we have noticed an encouraging trend of growth in our trade compared to last year when there was a downturn owing to the uh, COVID pandemic. Um, the, uh, obviously, um, I think both sides are looking forward to continued uh, increase in the trade and investment trajectory. Uh, some very ambitious targets have been set and we are, I think, well on our way to achieving those both in the trade and investment side. And for more on this, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sadan Sibyl, joins us live from New Delhi, where he has been tracking all the latest updates. Good evening to you, Sadan. Plenty to discuss. Uh, at today's meeting between uh, the two leaders, they discussed a range of topics from defense and military cooperation, environmental challenges and trade and economy. What are some of the big takeaways? Well, Alison, it was a very, very long day in terms of diplomacy and also in terms of uh, India-Russia relationship. Uh, with this, with this the two plus two meeting, the first um, two plus two meeting between the foreign and defense ministers, or uh, the visit of the Russian president Vladimir Putin, and a whole host of issues uh, being discussed uh, from counter terror uh, to COVID crisis uh, to, of course, Afghanistan. Afghanistan, of course, uh, has been part of the conversation. Uh, we know the opening statement made by the Russian president Vladimir Putin terming it as a concern or whether it is uh, the 2 plus 2 uh, meeting uh, the uh, after which uh, the Russian uh, foreign minister talking about uh, uh, Taliban uh, 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 Taliban need to have an inclusive government in Kabul or whether it's saying that uh, it's, uh, it's, it's time that India and Iran should also be part of uh, the extended Troika. Uh, but essentially, what happened today will go uh, a long way in terms of strengthening the relationship. Uh, a lot of MOUs being signed, 28 MOUs packs being signed, uh, uh, ranging from uh, many issues, including of supplying manpower as well. Because remember, Russia needs manpower, especially in the Far East region. Uh, that is uh, where Russia is keen to get Indian manpower. And also also connectivity uh, when it comes to a roadmap being decided to connect uh, Vladivostok, that's the far eastern city of Russia, to uh, to uh, the southern city of uh, Chennai. Uh, this is something that has been an ongoing process, but today it was emphasized uh, a lot. But uh, a, a, sh a short high voltage visit of uh, the Russian President Vladimir Putin, who of course uh, uh, is now uh, departing the country. Sudan, thank you very much for bringing us all the latest details from that big meeting there. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.